What's up? Welcome to Trackletics Live, the ultimate show for all things track and field. Join us as we dive deep into the sport, interview on track and field athletes, coaches, nutrition specialists, and more. Get ready to hear some dope conversations and gain exclusive insight into what it takes to become a top performer in the sport. Whether you're a seasoned track and field athlete or just starting off, this is the show for you. So make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Let's get into the show. Hey. Everyone, let's go. Oh, oh, my Wi Fi holds up. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Hold on, let me try to set this up. I'm doing well. I'm tired, but we're good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Sore, a little tired from training, but. We here yeah. excited to have this conversation with you. Get same, to your same. Your story, your goals, what you're looking to accomplish. We're gonna talk about it all. Let's do it. Wait, Let's wait. First off, what what events do you do? I let me flip the mic. <laughs> flip the mic real quick. I'm a sprinter. I run the 100 and 200. Uh, okay. I used to run the 400 as well. I started running track when I was about six years old. Oh, um, crazy. Yeah, I'm coming straight out of Compton. Um, raised by a single mother. So we got into sports to keep us away from the streets, the games. Right. Um, and I was actually the fastest on my block, fastest in my school. So all my Period. teachers, my, you know, family support system pushed me to track. Yeah. And I've been loving it ever since. That's great. Love that. Thank, Love that. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I don't really get to talk about my story much. Yeah. But back to you. Let's talk about your track story. Okay. Um, how sure. did you get started in track and field? Why are you doing long jump? Damn, that's that's not a little bit shady. Like uh, you don't like long jump. <laughs> long jump's pretty intense. It's it a, is. Uh, it's very detailed. You know, um, with the phases, the skills you have to develop. Um, I I got into track and field running, and yeah. I'm just going to the running. You know, I used to want to do long <laughs> jump really. Um, so we got to talk about it. Why are you in long jump? How did you join track and field? So, um, I started a little bit when I was younger, nothing serious. Like I would run like in Nigeria, I was the fastest girl on the block kind of thing. Nothing yeah. crazy. Didn't really train ever. And then probably, I want to say like two years ago, it was, it, this is very much God's plan. Like two yeah. years ago, decided to try it for a long jump. Like I've always had an interest. I was sprinting before, had an interest in long jump. Um, finally built the courage. I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. Did it, loved it, and now we're here. Been like two years in, still a baby in the event, but we're moving. We're moving. That's all that matters. Dang, yeah. You're still new to the event and look at everything yeah. you're already accomplishing. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, when would you say you fell in love with track and field, right? Because this is a this is a hard sport. You know, we're not on a team where your teammates can carry you. This is yeah. you out there on the runway, hitting the board, going full speed. You know, trying exactly. to get smart. So, yeah. When did I fall in love? Mm, that's a great question. I'm going to say, ooh, probably like, like this past summer competing. That's probably when I proper fell in love with it. At first, like I remember like trying to go back into sprinting in like 2018. Fell out of love with that quickly. The workouts hated it. I hated it. I was like, how does anybody wake up to just go and sprint? Like, it was just it was long. So I was like, no, nah, no, ma'am. We're not doing that. At least with long, I can enjoy the training. And that's why I probably love it more because I actually enjoy doing the training and the working out and all that. So, yeah, I would say last summer, it was probably like the tougher summer. Like I was really pushing through injuries. And I think it just like, it made me realize like, yo, I really want to do this. So it's like, yeah, that's probably when I fell in love with okay. it. What was your first, couple years of track and field like when you started off as sprinter um it's the sprints is no joke it's you know i'm out there coming up in practice yeah. about to pass yeah. so what was the yeah. first couple years like and what sprint events did you do so uh, just short sprints we can't okay. do anything past 200 <laughs> right there anything for that cut me out cut me out immediately i don't do that so i would say i did like short sprints i came like indoor season in canada so it's like um the 60 my coach was trying, at the time was trying to push me for like 300. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't really know about that one. Still, I don't know about that one. You know, let me just try the 60. I never actually competed. Um, I got hurt like both seasons. It also just was not the priority at tw in 2018. Like school, my plan was very much like, okay, school, boom, 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 go get my master's. So Tragonville was not really my priority at the time. So I really was not really training that much. 
Um, so go figure, I got injured when I tried to compete, and and that was the rest of the history. I don't even got a time to tell you. Like it was just, it was very hey. much a short season for me. Short yeah. season. That was twenty eight years, very short. Sounds like long jump was meant to be. Period. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nah, I respect that for sure. Um, but what was the college experience like? You said you were focusing on getting your master's. Um, had a short season. What was, what was your school experience like? Good. Um, I went to Carleton. Really good. I had a pretty good experience. Um, I did psychology. That was my main my main focus. And I was like, okay, cool. I kind of want to be a therapist in the future. So my focus was very much just getting the grades up, applying for a master's. That was my main thing at the time. Um, and it went well. Like, I was pretty good at school. I'm not even to two mile horn. I did my thing, you know. <laughs> we passed. Nice. So, yeah. So it, was, it was cool. Math yeah. It's not easy. So much respect. Congratulations yeah. for graduating with that. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah. Expect you said psychology. So yeah. <laughs> that's no joke. Um, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of hard studying. Uh, long for hours, sure. study, I should say. I know yeah. for sure. Um, but... Then after graduating, figuring out this like post collegiate space, you're with the CTFL. Yeah, How has the CTFL been helping you chase your dream? Man, Quinn is just amazing. He's done a good job. It's been like two seasons, and this it's already come this far. Like it's he actually like well, how did I even join? I was randomly. I, I at first it was my first season track and field, so I was like, ah, oh, there's no way I'm qualified for this. Let me just chill. Let me just mind my business, <laughs> work on myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Progress. And then he approached me for the finals so apparently some girls got hurt and he was just like yo like you you jump far i'm like mm, questionable but he's like yeah you jump far come in come in, join the league and you know compete in the finals so i was like sure let's do it and i went and that's been the rest is history now i've been on the spitfires for like two seasons um it's been good i mean like he it's definitely a league that cares about their athletes and you can tell because he's an athlete himself so he knows what won um so it's a very like athlete focused um league and the competitions have always been great. It's always been well organized, well run. So yeah, I would love to be in CTFL for who knows how long. Like for a long time, for sure. It's a big great league. Until you have to retire, you know, there comes Until a point where yeah. has to hang their spikes up. But I tell Quinn every time we talk, man, congratulations on everything he's built. Yeah. I'm so proud of the league and it's nowhere near me. I'm in California straight out of Compton. So crazy. Yeah. You know, um yeah. to be able to watch the league from where it started to where, you know, it's grown now. Mm -hmm. Quinn is a genius. Um, he's it's very crazy. passionate about it. Yeah. He's somehow figured this whole thing out. He has a system that works. The business yeah. works. Man, I just, he's I'm just excited crazy. to, to yeah. continue to watch it grow um, and yeah. continue to connect with all the athletes. You all have such a unique story. Yeah. Um, it's been a pleasure to talk to you all and just watch the journey like this. Yeah. I feel like we're, every year we watch the NBA. We watch the NFL, you know, you might be watching uh, soccer, you might be watching baseball, you watch these teams that have been around for, what, 75 years, 80 years now, you know, and you see this huge corporation, you watch the Super Bowl and all these big things involved in it, and yeah. I, don't, I don't think anybody really wonders, like, how did it get that big? We're just, right. you know, kind of all right. in the um, but if if you take it all the way back to where they started with the NFL, with the leather helmets, and <laughs> right. a lot of those athletes had part-time jobs and stuff like that. I feel like that's where we are with, with the CTFL. Yeah. But if you compare from where they started to where the CTFL started, man, Quinn is it's so much better for the athletes. It's way better, um, yeah. They do, a lot of these other leagues and organizations do not care about their yeah. athletes. CTFL... Yeah is solely focused on the development of the athletes, making sure yeah. you guys have the uniform, the gears you're taking care of. It's, man, Quinn is a genius. He's is genius. incredible. Incredible, for sure. Incredible. Shout out to Quinn. Sure. And <laughs> Somebody clip team. this and send it to Quinn immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely will. Definitely will. Yeah. Um, and, but how do you feel about your team? Um, these are some people Spitfires? that... Spitfires? Yeah, the Spitfires. How... how how do you feel about your team? These are some people you probably didn't know existed before you got on this team. Right. Some people you probably never, you know, connected with, didn't even yeah. follow before. But yeah. Now, as I see it, the Spitfires have such a, a, a family, you know, structure. Like, it's dope to see. How do you feel about yeah. your team? I think we're great.
were great. We were definitely great. My first season, it was one of those where I just came in last minute, so I wouldn't say like I knew too many people. And then second season, I was able to see more people. I wasn't able to compete at the finals because of injury, but just seeing like the camaraderie, how we all kind of like celebrated. Like I was on the side a little bit because I was injured, but like seeing everyone kind of like cheer each other on, root for each other, it's it's great. Like I love bringing kind of like a team atmosphere to something that's typically individualistic in, in nature. So to see Tiffo doing that is honestly just genius. It's great. And I wish there were more leagues like this out there. But yeah, this is it's definitely fun having like a team environment and like a solo sport kind of thing. So I, I think it's great. So I'm excited to definitely like get to meet more people this season, be more intentional about like actually forming connections and getting to know my teammates for sure. Um, so yeah, this season is going to be it's going to be fun. It's gonna be great. Yeah, whole new family, got a, accountability partners, you know. Right. Um, but I do feel like that's one thing that's missing from the sport, that team, you know, uh, atmosphere or yeah. the team structure. Yes, it's an individual sport. Um, but in the sense that, like, when LeBron is going up for a shot, it's just LeBron shooting. So when you're racing, it's just you racing. Or it's just yeah. you, right? But LeBron's on the Lakers. He has a team. Right. You know, he, has coaches, exactly. he has a structure around him to help him grow. Exactly. Um, and I feel like that's what track and field should be. That model already uh, I ran youth track and field, you know, mm -hmm. high school, yeah. uh, <laughs> college. Like these, this model has already been proven. I don't know why we don't have it at the professional, at the professional level. level. Right? Yeah. yeah. Playing with the CTFL, you know. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's Quinn's doing a good job, honestly. It's exciting. I can't wait to see what it's like in like 20, 10 years' time. Like, no, right. it's dope. It's dope. Seeing the, from the first year to what it's grown to now has been amazing. Like, yeah. Um, getting more athletes in, um, the collaboration with New Balance, and like it's, man, it's been, it's it's been great. amazing watching this. I'm Honestly. excited about it. I really feel like this is something the sport needs. Yeah, um, for sure. How, how has your training been going this season? Walk me through it. What's something you're Ooh. working on in training? Okay, so I'm just coming back from injury, um, the same injury from last year that has just been lingering for a little bit, but we're finally, like, actually taking care of our bodies, going to Cairo physio, it's expensive, you know, so sometimes I'll be, like, hesitant, but, you know, you gotta do it. Um, so I finally just got back to, like, fully running, fully jumping. This past week was great. Um, uh, we're now working, I think we've been working on, like, my approach run for, like, a little bit, because, of course, I'm kind of new to it, so we're still, like, trying to like get the rhythm down and everything so a lot of a lot of approach runs just now getting back into the weight room getting that strength up um so yeah let's talk about like yesterday's practice was it yesterday yeah yesterday was pretty much just like speed work um some over speed some resistance running so just strength building and like getting the speed up getting getting back into form for me because i'm i feel a little bit sluggish now because you know you come back from injury you don't you underestimate how much has changed a little bit but yeah i'm trying to like get back to my to my twitchy self so yeah that's where i'm at but okay. don't rush it it's you you have it yeah before, you know um i've i've been through some similar things with injuries and trying to rush back in the season you know yeah. you're so excited to watch your teammates or your friends compete and you know you got it you know you got the strength but it's just like ah, just yeah be patient with it that's, that's that's all i can say that's what i'm trying to do you're right yeah, yeah you're right especially <laughs> since this is a reoccurring injury too that's another thing yeah. you gotta be mindful of, you know for sure um but what are you working on in the weight room to build that strength so we're not dealing with this again so we're doing some some squats which i haven't been able to do for a while just because of my back but like now we're being we're able to do that um so a lot of squatting some cleans just general strength general strengthening and then um, for my physio program it's been just some hip and hip and a doctor work um that's been, been like the main focus for me right now oh okay okay yeah. um what would you say your favorite lift is your favorite lifting exercise i got a favorite I don't, hold on <laughs> let me think about it let me think about it probably I, I like squatting. I think squats. Squats right now, at least. We have a good relationship right now. So I'll say squats. You sure? You don't sound too. Not, you don't sound too sure. No, I'm going to say squats. I'm going to say squats. I'm going to say squats. Not too much, but squats. I <laughs> ask everybody this question. Some athletes are like, oh, I got three. Some are like, oh, man, I love them all. You're like, mm, no. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're still falling in love with the gym. You know, that's that's something that's coming along, but like definitely squats for now. That's usually most. I, I personally hate squats, but lifting in general. <laughs> It's, I, I hate squats. I feel like, don't judge me on this. I feel like squats are like two exercises. Like, I got to go down with the weight, 
and come back up with the way like it's just so much my heart be racing <laughs> squash is just it's, it's just too much for me then no, I, I, really I really just feel like i'm just yanking it off the ground and it's just an easy control to set it back down like i feel like wait your favorite is queens power clean queens deadlift okay okay like deadlift okay Deadlift's underrated. That one too. I'm gonna add that yeah, too. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it's one part to the deadlift. I'm just pulling yeah. off the ground. I just easy set it back down. Yeah. But for squats, it's like I gotta control all the way down. Yeah. And then, like it's just it's too much. It's a lot my more heart effort. Rate, for sure. My heart yeah. rate goes crazy with squats. <laughs> I promise you. I, I thought I it's was. It's got a little bit of cardio in there, you know. Maybe that's why I like it. That. You're got a bit of cardio. <laughs> no, first we weren't even excited about weights, but then you're just gonna throw squats out there. Listen, that's crazy. Listen, that's crazy. Don't judge me. Okay. Don't judge me. <laughs> we got our uh we got what we're doing on the track, just mm -hmm. getting back out there, right? Yeah. Um, we got our favorite lift, what we're doing in the gym as well, or the weight room. Um mm -hmm. let's take practice is over. What are we refueling with after practice? What's your favorite post workout smoothie or post workout meal? See me I'm Nigerian, right? So we eat food. Yep. <laughs> I love it. I'm coming home, get some jiras, get some chicken in you, mm. maybe wash it down with a little bit of water. Nothing crazy. Um, I do have a protein powder that I love. Um, I, what's even the name? It's one random. Is it X Star or something? It's one of those. It's pretty good. I'm a vanilla girl. So anything that's like vanilla, pretty simple. But yeah, I, yeah, pretty simple meals. Just like Way traditional protein. meals for me. Wait, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much me. That's what I'm refueling with. I'm coming home, eating some rice, eating some chicken, and I'm good. Got you. Yeah. What's your go-to, um, like, recovery drink? I know a lot of athletes have been putting me on the beef juice, the red juice, the greens. Any special drinks that you swear by? I wouldn't say I got anything I swear by. I do love cranberry juice, but I wouldn't say, like, I swear by it as, like, a recovery drink or anything like that. But I, I don't know. What were the options? What, what, what do people put you on to? Beach. Beach. They swear by the beach juice. Yeah. Okay. Beach. okay. Apparently, it, it helps with blood flow and help. I, I don't, I'm not the, the, the beach scientist, but I'm yeah. telling you. you beach. I, might, I might have to try it. I'm going to have to try it. It don't taste too bad. So that's why I started trying it. It sounds um, crazy, though. It doesn't sound flavorful. I'm not going to lie. What I, it sounds I dirty. That's what I thought. But it's yeah. usually like some beets mixed with like a cherry juice. So it's okay. really like a red mix. Um, okay. Really just to help with blood flow and help your muscles recover, I guess. Um, okay. I know some athletes that swear by it. I'm I'm serious. Noted. Um, I'm going to try it. Like electro, electrolyte, electrolyte yeah. type. Okay. I'm going to try it. Thank you for try putting that. me on. I'll get yeah. back to you. <laughs> let, let me know how you like that. Yeah. Let me know how you like that. Um, but with this season... With you just coming back, what are the goals of seeking, right? Um, we do got to be patient. We got to be mindful of, you know, what we're dealing with. You right. definitely have it, um, but we don't want to rush into anything. So what are you focused yeah. on this season? What's the main goal? Honestly, being healthy. If I can jump a full season and not be pushing through stuff, I'm, I'm having a successful season. Um, I would say... Uh, numbers wise numbers my, my coach has been throwing around is definitely getting consistently hitting those 650 660s um getting up there with that um but yeah i think right now i'm in a place where it's like let me just be healthy and i'm good like i can definitely hit the numbers if i'm healthy right so that's the main focus right now is doing what i got to do to remain healthy with the healthy foundation you definitely can yeah are you excited that it's an Olympic year? Is there any athletes that you're watching? Definitely. I'm excited. I love uh, Tara's been killing it. Yeah. She's been eating it up. She's been eating up. She's definitely one of the faves. Um, I haven't seen much of like Malika Mahambo, which is also like a favorite of mine in the jump world. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to see everything. All the rivalries, the 100, I know it's crazy. Noah talking all that. You know, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> There's like a, a good buzz around the Olympic year this year. So it's exciting to see like there's so many contenders too like you really don't know who's gonna you know come through with the win so yeah it's an exciting year for sure i'm excited to I, I watch to ask because i feel like at first it didn't really feel like an olympic year but now we got all yeah. the coming out it's um up. yeah yeah uh, with usa we still trying to figure out who we gonna send because there's so many dogs in the hundred right. 200 we don't know what the relay is looking yeah. like you know yeah. so i'm i'm i feel like i'm 
just now starting to get excited and see what these, you know, rivalries play out to be. Yeah. Um, who's winning what, who's on the podium. Um, but yeah, at first, the only thing I was really excited about is the CTFL. More really? Athletes, I, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm really loving uh, the growth, the development of the CTFL. It's exciting. Yeah. All the content. When yeah. been putting out dope definitely content. Definitely up the content. Yeah. Definitely step up the content. Yeah, definitely so up the content. Um, watching that athletes fly over and um it was a group of athletes that flew over and got to compete at uh um, the, the boston the, new, balance, yeah. new balance yeah yeah that, that was, was dope that freaking whole cool whole yeah series was dope um but yeah watching them chef up in the kitchen i'm like okay <laughs> some track athletes out there really cooking though you know yeah like, all that stuff is what i feel like we need for the sport and that's what we're just now getting yeah um from the olympic you know um not even from the Olympics, from the athletes going to the Olympics. Yeah. That's why I've been excited about the CTFL, the content we get, the storylines. Yeah. Um, athletes I get to connect with. Um, but I do want to say thank you for taking your time no to sit down and have a conversation with me. Um, yeah. My favorite question I love to end with mm -hmm. is through your journey, right, everything that you know now, the lessons you've learned, the people you've connected with, um, mm -hmm. Looking back, what's something that you know now that you wish you knew when you first started or something that you would tell somebody younger that's following you and looking up to you? Mm, that's a good one. Something I wish I knew coming into it. I think when I first thought about it, I definitely was like, okay, it's a very individual thing. You gotta get your head in there and be your own source of motivation, be your own source of everything. And then coming into a team that just is super like supportive and they're like a great support system. So like I would say, um, as much as it is an individual sport, definitely like build those relationships with your training partners and the people around you because they they make it a whole lot easier. They make the journey way easier when you got people that are in your corner supporting you room for you um so i think that's probably been like the biggest standout for me is just like the coaching and the people that i've surrounded myself by on the team um they've definitely like picked me up in times where i i was probably lacking motivation and they were over there just like feeding me and believing in me and so that's definitely like a big thing is don't isolate yourself just because it is an individual sport like build connections Surround yourself with great people. Have a great support system. It makes the journey so much better. Yeah. I love that. I 1,000% yeah. agree with you. Yeah. Some of my best friends are guys that I actually ran track with and, mm -hmm. you know, still support me. They might be on doing different things, but they still support me. Yeah. Um, they have end up becoming my brothers, you know. Um, and like I said, they were, I'm, I'm down or whatever. They're fueling me. They're feeding me, you yeah. know. Um, exactly. Yeah. So make those connections, and you never know who they're connected with. Exactly. You know, I'm, I'm exactly. That part that know the best athletic trainers. Yeah. And now I'm getting, you know, I'm getting all the extra support off the track and the yeah you know, help that I need. Yeah. Um, or even putting you on nutrition tips and supplements Fact. and beet yeah. juice. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. connect with your teammates, you know, um, as much as we like to say it's an individual sport, um, but building those connections can go far, whether 100%. it's friends and, yeah. you know, th people that you can add to your team, you know, right. so exactly. I agree with you exactly. on that. Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. But no problem. Thank you again for taking the time to sit down and have this conversation with me. It has been a pleasure getting to know more about you, your journey, your goals. I'm excited for you this season. I'm excited thank for you. with the CTFL. I'm gonna yeah. definitely be paying attention to your competitions. I'm wishing you the best. I'm wishing you a healthy season. That we're playing for personal. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me and supporting the CTFL. It's dope to see like people all the way over there, like who care and and promote it. So it's definitely great. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate Pleasure it. Pleasure is mine. Well, that is it for us here on Trackletics Live. See y'all next episode. Peace.